वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू मैग्नेटिक बाउंड्री कंडीशंस इन दिस सेशन सो व्हाट इज मैग्नेटिक बाउंड्री कंडीशंस सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू इलेक्ट्रिक बाउंड्री कंडीशंस वेयर वी हैव सीन डिसकंटिन्यूटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड व्हेन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंटर्स फ्रॉम वन मीडियम टू अदर मीडियम सो सेम थिंग दैट वी आर डील विथ टू डू ओवर हियर मैग्नेटिक बाउंड्री कंडीशंस that explains when magnetic field enters from one medium to other medium how much discontinuity is there in magnetic field that can be easily understand by magnetic boundary condition so let me mention this so see here first of all we should know what is that which we are deal with to do here so see here if i consider this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 right now as if i say magnetic field that is entering in this direction right so how much magnetic field that will be happening over here so let us say it is b dash so if you observe this magnetic field then this magnetic field is having two different components one is tangential component so let us say this is bt and one is normal component so let us say that is bn and over here let us say it is bt dash for tangential component and that is bn dash for normal component right so here in magnetic boundary conditions we are deal with to understand tangential and normal component and how much discontinuity is there in tangential component and how much discontinuity is there in normal component that is the case which we are deal with to understand here in this session so first i'll explain you magnetic boundary conditions for normal component so now to understand boundary conditions for normal component first of all let me draw a plane which is separating two medium so i am just drawing one plane right this is a plane which is separating two medium so here we have medium 1 above plane there is medium 1 and below plane there is medium 2 right and to derive normal components magnetic boundary condition see if i say in medium 1 normal component is b n 1 and in medium 2 this normal component that is b n 2 right this is for normal component so how to have a relation in between bn1 and bn2 that justifies continuity of magnetic field now see to justify that continuity here we are deal with to consider one very small surface right so i'm just taking small surface but i'm drawing it big the reason is i need to show you calculation right otherwise that surface is very small so i'm just drawing this small surface you can see now in this small surface if i say this is x direction this is y direction and this is z direction right then dimensions in x direction that is delta x dimension in z direction that is delta z and dimensions in y direction let us say that is delta y so here we need to understand one thing see this delta z that is very small and we can say delta z is tending to zero so limit of delta z that is going towards zero so this is what we need to understand now here for this uh, cube 
if uh, for this rectangle if you observe there are total six surfaces and if i just give naming this will be top this will be bottom right we can say this is left side this is right side and here this is front this is front side and this is back side right so that is how total six sides are there now for this six sides if we apply gauss law for magnetic field then we can calculate magnetic field with respect to different surfaces right so as per gauss law of magnetic field for enclosed surface for enclosed surface magnetic flux is zero for enclosed surface magnetic flux is zero that is what gauss gauss's law for magnetic field now here we have total six surfaces so i'll just mention uh, all surfaces right so now let us apply this to all surfaces right now you can observe see this delta z that is tending to zero so as delta z tending to zero this left right front and back surface that is having zero area almost why the reason is see for left and right that area will be del x into del z so this area is almost zero and for front and back that area will be del y into del z so that area is zero so this surface integration of magnetic field for left right front back that has to be zero now we need to see what is that which is there with top and bottom so see for top flux is emerging from the surface so we can consider that as positive and that flux will be for top surface that flux will be magnetic field bn1 into area and that area is how much delta x into delta y right so this is delta x and this is delta y so that multiplication delta x delta y that is what area and for this bottom surface magnetic field is entering the surface so that has to consider negative so minus b and 2 into surface area that is same delta x delta y is equals to 0 so if you take this common n you can eliminate that so we can say b n 1 is equals to b n 2 that is a boundary condition for normal component so there is no discontinuity in magnetic field for normal component there is no discontinuity for magnetic field for normal component now let us derive this for tangential component so it will be more clear right so let me mention that over here first now see to explain this first of all i need to separate two mediums by surface so let us say above this there is medium one and below this there is medium two and above this in medium one tangential component of magnetic field let us say this is ht1 and let us say this is ht2 so how to calculate tangential component relation in between ht1 and ht2 so for that for that we can take line integration of magnetic field intensity as per ampere circuit law so let us say this is a b c d right and that is how we are taking closed line integration right so we can say so now see here 
as per ampere's law closed line integration of magnetic field intensity is equals to i n close now for this surface of medium for this surface of medium we can say surface current per unit length is k so that will justify see this is there in this direction right now let us consider this is x direction and this is y direction that is to understand this loop right so here we can say this i n close that is k into delta x as this surface is there along x direction now this hdl that we need to calculate in this loop so now see a to b hdl magnetic field intensity and length is there in same direction so i need to say ht1 into delta x as this is what delta x but magnetic field intensity in in the range of b to c so there is no component of magnetic field intensity so this b to c that will be zero i'm just writing it over here this will be zero from c to d, for c to d magnetic field intensity component that is in opposite direction so i need to say minus ht2 into delta x right and from d to a magnetic field intensity component is zero so this will be again zero so ht1 delta x minus ht2 delta x is equals to k into delta x and this delta x will get cancelled so we can say ht1 minus ht2 is equals to k where k is surface current per unit length where k is surface current per unit length so we can see for tangential component there is discontinuity in magnetic field for tangential component there is discontinuity in magnetic field but for normal component there is no discontinuity in magnetic field so this is all about magnetic boundary conditions and in next session i'll explain you one example based on magnetic boundary conditions so it will be easier for you to understand magnetic boundary condition thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will solve your queries Thank you so much for watching this video.